Hey guys, right into it, man. Time in the game, time in the game. That's all it is. You know, I going through uh, some videos and I saw this guy. He's like 55 years old, right? Looked outstanding, dude. Awesome job. Tell he's been natural all his life, but phenomenal job, right? As far as aesthetics, he. I mean, he he had it pegged. He's 55, so two years older than me, and he, in the middle of his little dissertation, uh, said he's going to go ahead and start jumping on that needle, and you guys know what I'm talking about. Man, I had to DM him back. I, you know, first praise him for where he's got and what he's accomplished, but then to kind of encourage him, uh, to kind of take a second look at what he's really doing here you know you go that long being natural like I have I'm 41 years into working out never touch synthetics apparently this guy either and uh, now he's all about it because he says he's tired he's weak and his joints are sore well there's an underlying issue there and as I DM'd him back, you know, that, that's what needs to be addressed first of all. But moreover, it's the youth. We slip as adults, they fall. They are just looking for an excuse. You're, you're taking, you're willingly taking a needle of some synthetic serum made up in a laboratory and injecting yourself daily because you don't have the energy you used to. Now, I'm not sure if that's a scapegoat, but even if it isn't, people watching that, you just gave them a green light to go drink, do drugs, uh, do whatever they want, because you no longer have that power to say you are ethical across the board. And if you can't be that person and set that example... And like I said, you fall in front of everybody. You, you no longer, first of all, you can no longer say you just lost major status of being a lifelong natural. That's huge. You can never go back now that you've rode that needle. And second of all, having that on your conscience you think you're being honest and, and upfront to everybody around you, but in essence, you're letting them down. I mean, this guy was probably a bunch of people's heroes, and now they're looking at him like, man, he's turning to drugs. I don't care if you turn to drugs at 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. You're still turning, man. Does a warrior need a shot before he goes into battle? Ask yourself that. Does he need a shot to get what he needs to get done during the day? Does he need a shot to get here on camera? Often more than not. And I see that as a weakness. And I, I was respectful to this man. I don't know him. And, uh, you know, I, I did use that word. Hey, respectfully, think about what you're doing. I mean, to me, you're a leader. And then now you're going to change the dope after all these years. You ain't looking at the, the end game of that stuff. And for someone that age, too, it's right around the corner. The unseen evils. And what it does to them personally, their family, and the people around them. They're not even them. And like I've said before, that fake euphoria... That synthetic energy, that off-the-shelf mindset, something that didn't come from inside, it's all flawed, man. And it's annoying. I don't know about you guys, but I've been around people like that, and I can't be there too long. I mean, they're off the hook with energy and just all bouncing all over the place, and all they talk about is exercise and women. And then they come back crying later saying they cheated on their spouse because they were a walking hard on. Yeah, don't sound like you're going in the right direction to me. Suck it up, man. You got a little bit of pain. You're not as strong as you used to be. 
Act your freaking age. Act your age. You can pull it off, man. I don't get it. Everybody's just wanting to get out there and just get immediate results. But you know what? The end game's sad. I've seen people just burned up and tossed out. A lot of people my age who were on that that started young, they can barely walk and get around now. And they look like a Teletubby. They look like a beach ball with flip-flops. Period. And they don't do nothing. And the sons and daughters, what happened to dad? Oh, he don't ride the needle no more. And now he's got to pay the consequences because his body adapted to that drug. Now the drug's not present. Now his body's having a real problem adapting to living it the right way in the real way. Sorry to psychologically screw you guys, but yeah, that's what's really going on. Don't partake in synthetics, you guys. And I hope this guy changes his mind. I really do. I see charlatan influencers all the time getting on here, making a lot of money because they were riding that needle, got big and ripped real quick. And then about halfway through when they're doing good and they're making that money, they go, oh, I got my blood tested and my testosterone was so low. And they hold up a vial. What kind of weak shit is that, bro? Really? And more often than not, these guys were probably on it from the get-go. And they think that, yeah, you know, I'm coming clean now. Hey, you know what? You still committed the crime, man. You're going to pay the piper one way or another. So, and then you get people on there saying, oh, mad respect. Yeah, well, they're using to. So, you guys, don't, don't get derailed by this BS. There's a lot of us naturals out there, just like my, you know, on my Instagram, go to my Instagram, uh, you know, T Pax LLN Fit, lifelong natural. You're getting it from a person that's done it through mind, body, and soul. That grit it takes to get up. When I get up in the morning, I have to roll over and give myself a shot. I don't have to roll over and give myself pills. I just get it done. Time after time, year after year, moment after moment. That's character. I ain't fooling nobody. Anyway, guys, I just, uh, it's heartbreaking. It, it, it triggers me a little bit, you know, um, especially a guy like that that's, uh, you know, two years older than me. And I do believe he was natural. And he looks damn good, bro. Like, and to just, and then it, then it was like a sales pitch after that. Oh, yeah, this company is, you know, I'm, I'm working with this company. And right then I'm like, yeah, yeah, they're paying you to say this and you're probably on it. And I mean, you just sold your soul, man. And it just breaks my freaking heart. Because you didn't only sell your soul. Think about the people around you that looked up to you. You know what they're going to do? They're probably going to go run and do the same thing you did. Because you couldn't hold on long enough. You led for a while, then you crashed. And it ain't about others anymore, it's about you. But your influence is about others. And it's negative. Hope you change that shit if you happen to see this video. And you guys, I run into a lot of people... And uh, this topic always comes up because I'll get asked, hey, man, you do, you know, what are they, whatever terminology, natty or whatever, you know, I'm like, oh, no, you know, no. And usually right off the bat in any conversation I have or most videos I make, I say I'm natural. I want to set that precedence. I want you to know who you're talking to. People that get on here and never say that. What do you think's going on? I mean, let's think about it, you guys. What would, <laughs> what would be, what would you want people to think about you? The truth, right? And if you thought it would be different because you look a certain way, and automatically somebody that looks like they're in shape is categorized, is using, wouldn't you want to set the record straight? Of course you would. That's a lot of discipline, a lot of hard work. 
Say you got it all from being that man in the can. Say what you got through gritting through all those years when all the people around you were using and you chose not to. And now they're all washed up with in injuries and you're still going and you're still going strong. And that's what I want for you guys. Lifelong natural habits. It'll bring lifelong natural results that's going to ultimately bring you health, longevity, mobility. I mean, you're going to have all these things for your family and friends. And you'll be able to be continue to be that asset. Not a short-lived asset whose mind's all just whacked, whose emotions are all over the place, who's never consistent, and who gave their life to a synthetic serum that dictates attitude, euphoria, recovery. And they're, when they're off it, they're the polar opposite. <laughs> Give me that even-keeled warrior. The one who I can come up every day and who's the same. Same ethics, same morals. Same character. Not someone that can't handle their day without riding that needle, riding that dope. And I know some of you guys get on here and say, oh yeah, I quit drugs. I quit alcohol. I quit all this stuff. No, you didn't. You may have quit that, but you traded in one drug for another. And just because your physique looks different doesn't mean your mind's different. You sold yourself out. You ain't drug free. I don't care what it is that you take off the shelf and put in your body. It's not natural. I've helped people get off this, man. And if you're on it, I'm willing to help you too. Because I've seen what it's done to people's lives. You're walking around. And you're not you. I want you to be you for your family, your friends, your loved ones. I want you to show up. Think from the right perspective. Love from the right perspective. Selfless, not selfish. Okay, you guys. Um. Uh, yeah, keep it real, man. More to follow. Love to you and yours. And we'll talk soon. But contemplate this, man. And uh, really, like, I, I know people on this stuff. They're open with me. I, I've been able to um, just be there for them. And the ones that got off and, you know, started doing it the natural way. It's a real journey for them. I mean, because they're used to instant results. Uh, they're used to having that massive drive, you know, to go to the gym. They're used to going to the gym twice a day or every day. Like, um, you know, that's not, that's not training smart. And, uh, but it's that drug that's, that's, that's doing all that. And, you know, for a natural, you got to be, Strategic in the way you go about things, uh, recovery, diet, and you just got to, uh, you got a program specifically uh, with that in mind. And you can't, you know, a lot of guys that are on the needle, they're, they don't even have a program. They just go in and just start hitting things, bro. And, and you know, and that, that's another thing. It's just like they grow on whatever they do. And <laughs> these guys, it's just not even comprehensive, man. It's, uh, and even people that aren't using, man, you need a comprehensive program. Hit me up. Um, we'll get you diet, nutrition, uh, you know, not workouts that you got to change all the time. My workouts are been pretty much the same all my life. As far as, you know, the compound movements when I do them, you know, accessory exercises or for isolation, uh, muscle groups, you know, they vary, but not rarely. It's predominantly uh, reps and time under tension uh, with the same same movements. But uh, we'll get into that later. But anyway, uh, yeah, 
just kind of a disappointment. I had to talk about this, you know, just hearing that guy. And, uh, you know, I'd seen him before. I'm like, dude, that's legit. And not knowing if he was natural or not, but I, I, I can tell, you know, I can tell by strength. I can tell there's a lot of ways. I've been around a while. I can usually nail it off the bat. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, watch them for a month or two. I mean, that's an easy way to find out, you know, when you're talking about massive uh, size, strength gains, and and that fake euphoria that I was talking about. About They're just like, like, it's just totally, it it's just totally drug driven. And um, so, yeah. Okay, guys, stay on point. Loved you and yours. We'll talk at you soon.